Right, what I'm doing now is I'm making gaskets for these. That's the new bearing, and that just goes in there like that. And I've already measured it with this depth, depth mic. So I've measured from the cast iron to the clip, and it's 10 thou, give or take a thou, all the way round. And so I've got 10 thou gasket material, and I'm going to make it out of this. First thing to do is to draw around it with a nice sharp pencil. And the most important thing is that you draw around the inside of the holes accurately so you get a nice circle now the easiest way to cut cut it out is with the standing off on the outside So now we need to punch the holes out and what I use is this, I made this hole punch years ago for all different sizes but you can buy, you can buy little hole punches to punch them out, just individual ones where you just put it over there and hit it. So now <clears throat> I'm going to hold that on there with the bolts. Just finger tight. Now, when when you when you're making gaskets, it's handy if you've got dirty fingers because then what you do is you rub your finger around there, and it shows you where the edge is that you need to cut out. Let's just do these up finger tight. I don't know if that comes out on camera, but it actually shows up the edge. <clears throat> you could go round with this knife, but uh, I was always taught to do it with a hammer. And this is a really effective way of doing it. You, you just hit the edge all the way round. And what it does, it, it just cuts through it. So it's cut through it. But these are getting away, so I have to take each bolt out. So this little notch I can't get in with a hammer so I'm going to have to just do it with the standing knife. Just notch it out like that. I'm making a gasket for the side plate now and I'm using 25 thou gasket material for that and I can't actually draw through the holes because I can't get to the inside with a pencil so one other way of doing it is putting a marking blue round the hole and then I can see where the hole is then I can line it up in my punch 
and punch them out very accurately. This is the marking blue that I use and I've had it all my life. And basically all it is is, is an oil paint and it's the colour is Prussian blue. So it's gone all hard now. But I just put it around the hole like that. see it but it's quite um, hard to see but I can see the outline of that hole So that way you get the least amount of clearance around them holes so it actually it got the most amount of sealing you know the widest part of the gasket from from the hole to the edge That's the finished thing. That's all the parts now, including the gaskets.
they're all on the bench ready to do the rebuild now the only problem I can foresee with this is fitting this input shaft now normally what you would do is put the bearing on the shaft and push it in from this side and I can't do that because this lay shaft is still in there and these the diameter of these notches is bigger than the gear so it won't pass through there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in first and then I'm going to hold it in with these screws and they will go over the clip then that will be fixed in there and then I'm going to heat this up and put, put that on there and push it in from this side through here like that the only problem is this what I need to do is put this in first and then and then push it through and that's easier said than done